apply the following. 5x squared times 3x to the 6. So we multiply the numbers by the numbers. So 5 times 3 is equal to 15. Now we multiply the x squared times x to the 6. Now we have the rule of exponents when you have a to the n times a to the n. This is equal to a to the n plus n. So now we have the x squared here. So x squared. So we add the um, exponents, right? So x squared times x to the 6. So we have to add the 6. So final answer, 15x to the 2 plus 6 is 8. So next one, minus y to the third, z squared times y, z to the fourth. So we multiply the y to the y and z to the z. So we have minus y cubed and a y and a z squared and a z to the fourth. Now this is equal to minus now we have a y to the cube plus this is 1, so y to the 1. And now we have z to the second power plus 4. So this is um, this rule of exponents applies to this problem. So now this is equal to y. So 3 plus 1 is 4. And we have z, and 2 plus 4 is 6. So this is the final answer. So the next one, we have a squared b, and the whole thing is to the 12th power. And we have x squared y cubed, and the whole thing is to the 10th power power. So we have another rule of exponents when we have a to the n times n. This is equal to a to the n times n. So we multiply the exponents. This is called the power rule. Power rule. So we have here <coughs> a squared. So a squared times 12. So we multiply 12 and then we have a b to the 12 and in here we have x squared times 10 times 10 and y cubed to the times 10. So now we have a to the 2 times 12 is 24. Now we have a b12, now x to the 2 times 10 is 20, and y to the 3 times 10 is 30. So this is your final answer. So when you have a a to the n to the n, it's equal to a to the n times n, you multiply the exponent. So 10 times 2 is 20, and 10 times 3 is 30. 12 times 2 is equal to 24, and 12 times 1 is 12. Now last one. So the same rule applies here. So we will use the um, power rule. So we have 2 thirds. Now this is to the second power, and a to the fourth times 2 and then b to the squared. So now another rule of exponents when we have a anything to 0 power is equal to 1. So we have here a parenthesis to the 0 power. This means that this is equal to 1. 
So this is one. So this the whole thing is one. So now we have two thirds times two thirds. This um because this is um the squared means we multiply it two times. And now we have a to the four times two is eight. And then b squared times one. We don't need to write the one now, or we can do if you want it. So now we have two times two is equal to four, and three times three is equal to nine. A to the eight and b squared.